are we in the future uh, you know going to have a map of india which is completely rid of our scenic contamination bahar uh, in fact we are ready with the technology and solution that will wipe out this arsenic from our country in the next 3 uh, 4 years we are right now supplying arsenic free water to 1.2 million people every day and uh, for those of uh, you who are watching youngsters these plants which are supplying arsenic free water you can watch them on your mobile you can see their data on the mobile what we are talking about is arsenic contamination i'd like to share a personal anecdote i have reported uh, you know on the river ganga and the pollution levels there and the ganga brahmaputra delta is in fact considered to be the hotbed for arsenic contamination more than 20 Uh, states in the country are affected by this problem it is not just a toxic uh, uh, a toxic chemical uh, which finds its way into the groundwater but also in places uh, where crops are grown so also uh, you know in the food that we eat and i've come across communities where they have skin issues they have kidney disorders all kinds of issues because of arsenic contamination sadly this doesn't always make it to our headlines Dr Pradeep if i may ask you what is this technology that you've developed and are we in the future uh, you know going to have a map of india which is completely rid of our scenic contamination uh, bahar uh, in fact we are ready with the uh, technology and solution that will wipe out this arsenic from our country in the next 3 uh, 4 years we are right now supplying arsenic free water to 1.2 million people every day and uh, for those of uh, you who are watching youngsters these plants which are supplying us in ek free water you can watch them on your mobile you can see their data on the mobile so i see the country uh, you know is a few years from now every new can corner of the country uh, data on water will be collected online now what is the core of this i have all along said that uh, advanced materials is the solution for clean water problems arsenic you mentioned is now 108 and a 108 year old problem we knew about this existing in in water in our country yeah, we knew about this for about uh, some 50 60 years or so but we have been found solutions affordable solutions i should emphasize this word affordable uh, solutions because we didn't have the right materials which could solve this problem without the use of electricity without the need of piped water supply and all of those technology so called uh, technology enabled things so we want really low hanging technology and such a technology we said it should be something like less than 5 paisa per liter of clean water we are currently supplying clean water at 2.81 paisa per liter and that conforms to all the us epa standards and that is our material that's our solution and i have all along said that such solutions uh, should come from from our own uh, research largely because this is not a problem that is faced by other countries so uh, this is true of many other areas also uh, yes. fluoride or uranium or mercury or many other areas uh, so advanced materials is the key and one should invest heavily uh, on that and the way that we progress if every child in this country is aware of this problem these problems we will be finding even advanced more even more advanced solutions in right. the right right thank you dr pradeep and if i can just ask you quickly what is this technology because while technology is one thing accessibility is another issue because it's often the poorest communities there is the issue of equity and access to technology so how are you making this technology 
accessible to the poorest of the poor in, in our con- country water is is something that government gives and people are unwilling to pay for it and in fact it's not unwilling they are they can't afford it uh and uh, very many people who are faced with this uh, problem they earn something like 120 rupees a day that's all that is that is there for a family and so it is not uh, expected that they would pay and therefore villages today are uh, are implementing such solutions and those solutions uh, with the villages resources available if we can if we can supply the best possible water as i told you with 2.81 paisa per liter it is possible uh, that with about 50 rupees spent on a villager every month we can ensure clean water and this is something that governments can do yes and right to clean water uh, is it should be the right of every citizen in this country crystal gaze into the near future with our series be inspired that takes you into the world of ai medicine space good governance economy and so much more subscribe to our channel now